Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I just wanted to show you a very quick setup for February in my budget planner. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. So I already set up February in my budget planner. I used to do this on camera, but then realized like it takes a freakish amount of time to get it all sorted out. So it's just easier for me to do it off camera. And then I'll just kind of do a flip through just so you can see what's going on. But before I do, I wanted to let you know that I am participating in this like savings collaborative savings collaboration savings challenge whatever with uh frugal frugality is life she made this beautiful freebie and so basically with this you're going to roll one die once per week and then at the end of the month we will do like a bonus roll but like so let's say for instance you rolled a six you would write a six here and then that would be how much you saved and then at the end of the time frame you would just see how much you saved for the week. Now, the coolest thing about this is, as you can see, because this is like a, a track, you know, track and field type challenge. So there are six lanes and this is where you come into play. So like I said, this is a freebie, which I will have linked in the description box, but she also invited us to do this together, but then also to share this freebie with you guys so that we can all be saving money together. So again, you roll a die and save the amount. You will roll six times to end up getting to the finish line. And then when you get to the finish line, you add up the amount that you saved and that's it. So you can either A, keep rolling, 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 and then save it all you know, at the end if that's easier for you, or you know save per week it really just depends on how you kind of do your budget i know she said there are six so we start here so one two three four five yeah to kind of i don't know i'll have to ask her about that because technically if i roll like six times would give us too many rolls for the month of february so i'll have to ask her about that because that might just be like a typo it really may be because i only see five boxes one two three four five and then technically you'd be at the finish line so i don't know i'll ask her about that anyway you do what you got to do for your budget <laughs> but the participant participants in this challenge are a you so you would be in lane one so again all you would have to do is go to the description box download this challenge print it off grab a die and then you're ready to participate as well in lane two, two, whoa, we, I'm going to hold it up. We have frugality is life. So she is the one that put all this together. I love Fiona. Please, please, please go subscribe to her channel. If you have not already done so, as a matter of fact, subscribe to everyone's channel. Like I'm also going to link them down in the com in the description box so that it'll be easier for you to get to them because my goal is to watch their videos and then write down what they save as well. So that, you know, it'll be like, ooh, who got it? Who got it? And obviously there's no actual winner because the winning is the saving. But, you know, it's just fun. And then traveling and saving chief, which I'm going to put the correct, because um, I think it's traveling chief nine, if I'm not mistaken, is her actual name. But I will put it again, like I said, in the description box. Then we have sassy beauty budgets. I, of course, am in lane five and then plan live budget is in lane six. So these will be all of the people that are participating. And like I said, I will leave all of their YouTube names, YouTube links in the description box so that you can go to their channels as well. But yeah, so I'm super excited and I'm so grateful that she asked me. So thank you again, Fiona, for inviting me to participate in this challenge. I am really, 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 really looking forward to getting it started next weekend <laughs> so i'm like at the time of me filming this video next week will already be february so let's get into it 
we are in February. I have this page filled out with like my monthly budget. So that is normal. And then we go into here, which is like my favorite page. I just, something about having, like you can have it written down, which is pretty redundant actually, if you think about it, because I write it down here and then I write it down again here. But I don't put numbers in this spot. But this is my favorite page because I, this process is easier for me to have it visually. So, you know, first of all, I can already tell that within this first paycheck, I'm going to have to pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days worth of bills. Like without even having to look to see what they are, I know that for seven days within, you know, between the first and the 14th, I'm going to have to pay those bills. And then again, paycheck two covers from the 15th until the 28th because we do have a leap year this time. So my 29th payment will be in with the March paychecks. So basically because I get paid, you know, at the beginning of the month and then at the end of the month, no, I'm sorry. I get paid on the 1st and the 15th. But because my last, you know, bill for that month is like technically like the 1st, I just put it over <laughs> in that next month. So Apple Card and my patch aid, my vitamins, they will get put into the March budget. They are not put into the February budget. That's what I'm trying to say. I had said a whole lot of stuff and didn't really say anything, but that's what I mean. <laughs> so I love, 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 love this visual. I am working on eliminating some of these things. I have already canceled some subscriptions. I, you know, I'm looking to cancel more as time goes just to, you know, bring this bring these numbers down. And then also I'm like even more hyper-focused on paying off debt this year. So yeah, because I have way too much debt and I need to get it taken care of. So that'll definitely be a very, very, very strong goal of mine for this year. And so then after I do this, then I come back again and I take those and I put them in the weekly calendar where they belong. So I have that set up and I love this. And then my little notes down here are kind of like what it is for this particular week. Um, you know, my expenses are $1,170, for instance. For this particular week, my expenses are only $75. So I can kind of see like, whoo, watch out this week because your account's going to be doing the most. But this week, you shouldn't see too much action. So <laughs> you should be good. Um, so again, that just kind of, I like this weekly layout um you know for that purpose just to kind of see again where everything is going and so then again we get down here to this week so in reality i would only be paying attention to the 65 because the 50 and the 15 i have are going to go into march so that's kind of how i do it so then after i take my paycheck numbers which are not my actual paycheck numbers it's just you know everything else after this, the $2,000 mark, I keep in my account as a buffer because my life be lifing and sometimes I need a buffer. So I keep those, everything past the 2000 mark in my account for a buffer. And then um, I take all of my bills for the month, which for this month totaled out to $2,612, which left me with $1,388 left. I know I'm going to transfer $230 to my uh, like spending checking account. And that's where I buy like groceries and household items and where I put my allowance and things like that. So I transfer that over there, which leaves me with $1,158. And then for my first envelope, just based upon where the money, you know, fell, I put envelopes, but this is really like envelopes, my cash envelopes, basically. So I'm going to put $583 in the first, you know, cash stuffing. And then theoretically I put 575 in the second. So the 583 one is pretty much set in stone. The 575 one is also set, but it's kind of life dependent. So if something happens that, you know, adjust this number, I can adjust it accordingly. But right now, this is what this is going to look like. I shouldn't have any surprises at the beginning of the month. <laughs> It's usually, you know, the end of the month where something may or may not come up 
in which case I can adjust this set of bills if needed. But this one, I don't plan on touching because again, it's next week. So I haven't gotten anything or haven't seen anything that would alter this at this time. So I'm gonna just leave the first page, first cash stuffing alone. And then my second one will be this one. And then of course I have this 30 day savings challenge that uh, if you watch my last video, you saw I got some side hustle money. So I did go ahead and stuff that. As you can see, I did not go back and color it, even though I said I was going to. <laughs> I did not. And then last month, oh no, I did. Okay, so then last month over here, I wrote down the savings challenges. I know for sure out of each paycheck, I'm gonna allot $50. And then I want to put whatever I have rollover and then whatever I have extra just because I want to kind of keep, you know, a track, keep track of like what extra money I'm putting in. But at the very least, I'm going to put $50 towards savings challenges per paycheck. So, yeah, that is it. Oh, and then at the very end of the month, which I need to cut this and punch it, I will put this savings challenge, which is available in my Etsy shop. If you missed my Friday's video, definitely go check that out because I have all of my new listings. But this savings challenge, I'm going to put back here. And then at the end of the month, I usually mark this. What did I put last time? I think I put 20. Yeah. So this would be... So February, um, and then each little pig for me is $20. And so the difference between this one and the one here is this one, I'm like, I don't know what this little plastic is. This one I'm saving up for something specifically, so it will only equal $30. This one is how much I've saved for the month of February. So it's going to replace uh, this sheet that I created, which again, I also talked about in the last video. So whatever I save for the month of January in my savings challenges, that will go on this sheet. So if it ends up only being $100, then I'll color five pigs and put $100 and that'll be that. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to keep track of what I ended up putting in savings challenges. That way at the end of the year, I can confirm that I did in fact, you know, stuff what I think that I stuffed if that makes sense. Assuming that I don't have to actually like use any of the funds that I stuffed. So anyway, that is it. That's how it sets up. Um, here is like just blank in case again, you missed my flip through of this book, just so you can kind of see what it looks like without all of my writing and everything in there. And then I add this filler paper. This doesn't come in there. Oh, and then I do have, I need to put this up front. I don't think I have one of these. My weekly expenses. Yeah, I didn't put that up here. Did I? No. Okay. So I'm going to put this in here. And instead of weekly expenses, because again, my goal is to not be spending the monies, I erase this and just put... I'm going to erase this and just put February. And then hopefully I can just use the front of this sheet for everything I spend in February. But at the like max, front and back. <laughs> but my goal is to just stick with the front sheet. And I can show you like for February, I'm January rather, this is it for January. I do have like one per two purchases that I need to add here. And these are just things I use my card for. Like I don't write down things I use cash for because that's the whole point of having the cash is to, you know, use it instead of using a card. So I know I had to buy Cricut. Oops. I got another font. So I canceled my Cricut subscription and uh, this is pirate ship. I canceled my Cricut sus subscription and I didn't really think about it, but 
when you cancel it, you lose all of the fonts that are built into the system. And so, of course, when I was creating things for my shop, I used the fonts that were, you know, in there, not really thinking about it. So now, every time someone orders something, I have to pay $4.99 for the font. Well, not every time, but every single time somebody orders something different, I have to pay for the font. So like this particular person ordered something and I had to buy the font just like this one. Somebody ordered something and I had to buy the font that goes with that. Um, but once you buy it one time, then you don't have to keep buying it. So it works out. But yeah, so again, hopefully... Um, I'm going to, you know, be able to stop having to do that eventually. And moving forward, when I make new things, I'm using like system fonts, computer system fonts, and not the ones from the Cricut uh, studio or whatever it's called. So anyway, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I always get questions about like how I figure out how much to cash stuff. So I figured this will be a good way to kind of like show you in black and white what that looks like. But if you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave it in the comments below. You guys know that I am still new to this. So <laughs> obviously I'm not any way, shape or form a financial advisor. I just do what works best for me with the money that I have. And again, I always advise you to do what best what works best for you with the money that you have cuz your monies and my monies are not the same monies. They're not. So anyway, thank you guys. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet. Be well. I'm going to go to bed now, so I'll catch you in the next one.